Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this Intune series, we have covered uh, how to enroll uh, Windows devices uh, with the uh, enrollment, uh, like how to register device for autopilot, then how to create deployment profile, and then also we have seen the how to create a enrollment status page uh, during the onboarding process. So we have covered this and also we have covered compliance policy how to create a compliance policy to make sure your devices are uh, properly compliant with the company policy so in this video we are going to talk about windows update ring so it's this is uh, nothing but a windows update windows patch, ma patch management for the workstation and uh, yeah for the workstation so how to patch all the windows devices there is a different way to patch uh, uh, other other operating systems but now uh, as a part of our scope of this video uh, we are only going to talk about the windows uh, devices patch management so in this video you can see on the screen uh, i have come to the update ring and this portal you can access from uh, from devices and when you click on the devices and then there is a update ring update ring for windows 10 devices and also you can update the same thing from the windows and then there is update ring also okay so there is a two way you can access the same portal so right now we are going to create a profile before that uh, there is a three c there is a three different uh, sections to update the or do the patch management update ring is a normal windows uh, patching for the all the workstations then this feature update and the quality update so if you want to upgrade a feature upgrade if you want to deploy on all workstation then you can use this option and you will get uh, like when you and which platform you want to upgrade all your workstations and then these are the options you are getting so this this is kind of uh, if you want to uh, have all your workstation on one particular uh, operating system on on particular version then you can uh, do this otherwise uh, you can choose the another options to patch the all the windows that is uh, windows update ring so uh, we will talk about this windows update ring uh, which is uh, very good and very effective uh, feature uh, with this you can almost patch all your workstation and also you can upgrade to windows 11 uh, operating system with this 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 uh, section from this section so let's create a one profile and i'll just type the windows update it's already there so i'm going to select same and then i click the next and it's very simple uh it's self uh, explanatory uh this these all this wording so you can understand what it is and uh, what uh, it will take effect you know on all workstations so basically Microsoft Microsoft product update allow it will check for all updates through the Microsoft Windows update process then if you want to update the drivers that that option also now supporting so Windows drivers also can uh, download you know through the Windows update and then this 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 is uh, a little bit tricky not tricky but uh, how many days uh, do you want immediately to install this quality feature update i always go for the uh, seven days seven days and uh, this is like a 30 days i go if the feature update is released i don't want to install right away so let the uh, 30 days of cooling time so if there is any bug in the feature that will uh, rectify it by microsoft before that within the 30 days and then after all this stable that version or whatever the feature update is stable then we can uh, push that uh, on the windows devices right and then you can also upgrade the windows 10 device to latest windows 11 release if you click yes then all operating systems will go for a upgrade and it will show that option on the end client uh, end, end point okay so that option is also there uh, set a feature update and installation so by default it is a 10 uh, so yeah so if you want to uninstall or re uh, revert back on the older version then you have a 10 days period where you can uninstall that feature update then if you want to want any something new release uh, a beta release or development channel uh, where the before release if you want to test any feature then you can opt for that uh, i don't recommend if it is you are using this in a production then don't uh, enable this 
uh, if it is a product if it is uh, your testing environment development env environment then yes uh, you can enable this feature and uh, get first first hand experience on those features um, apart from that then i i always go with this policy auto install at uh, maintain sorry i always go with the, this policy auto install and restart at maintenance so that uh, patches will download and install but it will restart machine in the maintenance window so working hours are the 8 am to 5 pm this is the way okay so active hours this, this means it's working hours 8 am to 5 pm and after 5 pm uh, uh, maintenance hours start so after that after 5 pm machine will restart so auto install any time any day during the day but it will schedule the restart after hours so this this is the policy i use most of the time uh, if the there is no specific requirement from the client uh, then restart check allow pause update i don't do this i don't allow end user to pause the update otherwise they just skip uh, the update for the seven next seven days seven days and then the the then the sorry then uh, workstations don't uh, uh, comply with the windows policies and all this so i always disable so no not not i don't give uh, any option to end user to disable or stop the windows update uh, option for check updates yes because most of the time sometimes to troubleshoot uh, as an admin we need to log into end users and uh, we need to check for updates you know forcefully and uh, yeah that time this option is very useful so i always keep this enabled so so uh, whenever I log in on the workstation, it's I can check for updates and install. And if even if the user is doing, I'm I'm absolutely okay with that. If they are installing update, uh, but anyways, I have kept put that time and the the installation schedules like every day. So there is no point. Like there will be very few updates uh, would be available. Otherwise, uh, all up all all updates already installed. Uh, change. Uh, yeah notification how the notification you want use the default windows update notification that you will see that prompt that comes yeah your machine is uh, installed and scheduled for the reboot that kind of pop-up you will see right here in the right corner bottom bottom right corner yeah so that and the, this one is another uh, feature that i use and i i always uh, 15 uh, 10 and the phi this is the way i schedule this so that grace period phi um, deadline for quality updates at 10 so before that before these 15 days the feature updates need to be uh, installed after the uh, they are available within the 15 days they are need to be installed so deadline so it go for the forcefully update those patches so because of this this policy uh, all your endpoints uh, will be up to date with the windows update so i always keep this and then once i see this everything is good then i just say next and then i update this to all devices so no or any device exclude uh, it should not be excluded from any from this policy so i always go for the all devices and next and create this policy so i this is the way i manage windows update and now uh, it is in the preview now another way you can update the windows update if you if your tenant is supporting windows update uh, or sorry the license then there is a windows auto patch so microsoft working on this 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 thing is currently in preview uh, so you can my my tenant is this is a developer tenant and does not support uh, required licenses so you can go here and check uh, yeah when you come to this section you can uh, run a check and it will show you if the your tenant is uh, ready for this auto patch windows auto patch if it is supporting then you can create a profile the basically in a nutshell what is going to happen is uh, you don't need to create any uh, all devices or any policy to uh, apply to all devices or any specific group so basically microsoft will or intune will decide whether or how patches are going to install they are not going to install the patches uh, on all devices at a single time right so they are going to segregate or and they are sorry they are going to install the patches few patches on the pilot group and when that it's successful and then 
uh, they need then they will try to install those patch patches on the next group available group so that way it's it will be like auto patching so you don't need to worry about the drivers and the installation or the all the updates that are available and when to patch uh, or any schedule window so they they will think when to patch and as per the user's profile working style you know so it's it's basically there is in the behind our uh, ai is running so they will make a decision and it will they will install the patches uh, on behalf of you so you don't need to worry about the schedule and uh, patches and the group or everything is managed by uh, auto patch so this this is another uh, way you can manage uh, sorry the microsoft is going to manage but before that there is a manual process that is you can do from the going devices and clicking on the update ring for the windows 10 and later and then you can create this and uh, you can see the reports and everything right here and then there is also a report section here where you can check the windows update uh, reports uh, everything now i do not have any device the one device but that is also currently shut down for almost a week and uh, once i i, I will install another uh, oh sorry i will onboard another one device and i will show you if there is any uh, reports is generating you know uh, those reports I will share with you in a next my video uh, so yeah so this is the way you can manage uh, windows update for all your devices and you can create a multiple policies also a windows policy targeting different different devices different different department and you can have a different policy for different department so there is no such a limitation so yep yeah, so there is another feature remediation feature is uh, now it is on the main page it was hidden it was hidden somewhere in the report section but now it is showing in here this is my developer tenant you might uh, not see this remediations but it's, this is another feature is available uh, which will i will which i will talk uh, in my, in my upcoming videos uh, yep so this is my uh, small demo uh, in this video uh, and i will see you in next video Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.